Hey guys, All right. it is Punt Factor. I'm back with Mr. Firemind, uh, Ben, and we are going to do some testing. Ben, what are you playing? I can't wait. I am playing the Bane of Modern at the moment. Blue, red, arc light phoenix. Exciting times. Yeah. Um. So... Uh, knowing I'm playing Phoenix, I shouldn't keep this hand, but I'm not going to cheat, and I'm going to say that this is an amazing hand and go in blind. Mine is kind of questionable. It could be good. I think I'm going to try it. I mean, yeah, blind, it's, it's probably acceptable, so... It's funny. It could be good. You probably have like uh, two faithful salutings, so it's <laughs> gonna it's gonna turn into an amazing hand because of faithful saluting. Dude, faithful saluting isn't even the like the best card in this deck. That's saying something. Polluted Delta. I think, yeah. I bet we bolt the bird. No, well, well, there it is. Oh, that's a that's something else, huh? Yeah, we'll see. I need quite a bit to go right. I mean, that's some. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll wait. I won't get too hasty. So, like, I could have taken Faithless Lane there. Um, but, I, well, no, that would have been dumb because he can't cast it anyway. Never mind. I thought the flashback was too good. Metamorphos thing. Okay. So let's eat a phoenix. It would have been risky for me to try and get them back that turn, so I figured instead of trying to get Well, I'd only end up getting one, because you would have eaten one anyway. So it's interesting here. Um, I would like to take him off of this, but that's not going to make him flip thing like I could eat faithless looting but you're not going to be able to flip thing if you if you flash back faithless looting right um, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and pass Yep, Manamorphos, pretty pretty solid card. Actually, I Ben, you and I talked about this. I actually think this is the card that's the problem, if if there is one down the road. Even oh with... man, ha. Let's see what happens here. Oh, okay. Oh, I hate you. Um, on. Um. 
you have to have a free spell. Alright, what are we bolting? My face, that's not a good yeah. sign. Now what are we gut shotting? Okay. block and kill your thing as tempting as that is <laughs> Okay. Probably should have waited until I attacked. Oh, uh, that's fair. You're probably right. <clears throat> yeah, you are completely right, because I probably could have come close to killing you if you would have swung in. Oh. So we have some... Huh. Let me think. Yeah, we're not taking seven. Hmm. I haven't seen any of my six removal spells. Seven. So 
three faithful slaves are gone. Not what I wanted to see. Yeah, I'm pretty okay with that. I bet you are. bad Coco hit. So the thing's gonna flip next turn and I'm gonna die. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> Understand. So you have a cocoa. Oh, always has the cocoa. Okay, this is interesting. Seven. Yep. It's most definitely what you do. Three cards in hand. Yes. Well, let's go here. And...
Let's go. Here. Back to you. <laughs> Back to you, sir. This, uh... This double chump plan... Doesn't seem favorable for you. It's not. Especially if they're just two twos. <laughs> oh, shut up. <laughs> you need to stop with whatever you're doing. <laughs> my ass <laughs> it's a good card it might be jeez <laughs> there you go well, I think I, I think I got this. You you just need a bolt, dude. Yep. Yeah. Which after I attacked, I realized I could have done with finale last turn, but. Yeah. That's right. yeah All right. We well, that didn't go our way. It's all right. Hung in there a smidge. Let's see here. These can actually probably come out for a hot minute. So it's tough siding. I mean, it's not super tough. I just don't have a ton for this matchup. I was hoping to see more removal. I didn't see any out of my seven pieces. Yeah, that hurt. Yeah, which is really kind of what we need. I don't think it hurts bringing in a couple of these. Um <laughs> I feel like I could almost go down one of those for an additional one of these. That might be like oversiding because now we have that much interaction, um, but I don't think we're really losing too much. Like, these are always fantastic, one of my favorite cards, but I don't think in this matchup it's it's just not good. Um, because like we saw in that last game, if it gets to that point where I'm just throwing things in front of that body, like it's not gonna it's not gonna end well for me. Mm -hmm. And I don't think this card necessarily um, you know we're, we're not really looking to grind. We, we're looking mm -hmm. to answer threats and push through damage mm. and this card is a grind mm. master so i think we can probably get rid of it for some more interaction 
but the internet always knows best. So you guys let me know. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone has their degrees in, in keyboard warriors. I don't know if I, I don't know if I want that or not. I don't know I either. Probably man. keep it. You probably don't. Oh wait, you know what? Don't hit submit yet. All right. Sorry. You're good. Forgot. This is probably hugely important. I think, I think that's okay. All right, I'm good. If you're good at some point. Yeah, I ran out of time, so. Oh, sorry, dude. No, it's not. I was pretty much done. Just kind of debating. Last two slots. All right. So this hand is. Uh, it looks pretty pretty solid for what we're getting into here. So go ahead and give it a whirly. Yeah, bird. I think I, I think I like mine too. Well, good. We both have hands that we like. So I bet you, you know, just uh, just a hunch that we're gonna have a turn one faithless looting. Yeah, you'd like that. No, we got a bolt. That's fair. Dart. Whatever. <laughs> it's a stupid card. It's a great card. Although, honestly, like, from talking to you, I'm not sure even, like, keeping you off of three mana an extra turn really matters because you have enough impactful two drops that... It just doesn't matter as much. No, not quite as much. It it just it depends. Like I don't know. There's our arch nemesis. So there's a few things we can do here. I'm leaning towards this. Um, let me actually think about it. So I'm leaning towards this just to kind of get things where I want it and then following up with either that or one of these. I think that's kind of probably where we want to be. Mm, okay. I'm just trying to slow the, like at the end of the day, my deck wants to slow the game down so I can actually grind out. And I think that's the better game plan. Um, Unless, of course, you can deal with this right now, and then I just made a very, 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 very horrible mistake. Yeah, unfortunately for you, I can. Okay. Can you flip thing in the process? Yeah, I can. All right, then we, we just lose. All right, that sucks. So, got to deal with this first. Dear Lord. How many Phoenixes do we have? Uh, just one, right? Okay. <laughs> I'm only taking ten, guys. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> Unless we had another one here. Oh, nope. Okay. So... So yeah, just, just ten. Just ten, no biggie. And we were worried about, like, Karns exiling a land. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> silly, silly magic players. <laughs> um, to be fair, that that was probably one of the best draws we could have right now. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and give it a whirly bird here. Add along number two. No, because we would just die. Okay. Yeah, we would just die if it was an Eidolon number two. Actually, if you have Path Abrupt Decay, that kind of sucks. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> All right. It's sort of what we have. No. Oh, why didn't I path your bird? Yeah, I was wondering that too. Why am I stupid? Internet, please yell at me. <laughs> what a... What? So let's... Oh, I want to punch myself in the head. Yeah, I think it... I think it cost you the game. It cost me the game. Unbelievable. What was I thinking? I wasn't, is the problem. I was talking to nothing. <sighs> Tough beats, man. Yeah, that sucks. I did draw another Phoenix there, so I could have. Ee, Coco. Yeah, Coco would have been a good play, but yeah, not having. Wait, I... how... oh, you you kept drawing cards. I was like, how did you have ten cards in hand? Yeah, no, just... I had, I had, I, gotcha. I had Bird, Ee, e. Coco. So let, let's pretend I would have path the Phoenix. So would you have been able to get another Phoenix out on the board there? So if you pathed, you pathed on my uh, upkeep. upkeep. Yeah. Yeah, and you asked trophied on my upkeep. Sorry, yeah. assassins trophy. Yeah. You're um. Fine. Uh, so I would have been able to. I still would have had you because I had enough land. I could have. I could have hard cast the phoenix that I drew, and then uh, I had. Well, could I? No, because you would have been able to hard no. cast the phoenix, and that's it. You would have been. You would have been at three. And then you just would have bolted me next turn. Yeah. Yeah. Bolt lava dart. Okay. So, that that's um, fair. Like, you, I guess you go into um, uh, like a uh, I guess you of course. Well, no, I took them out, but there, there's my cocoa hits. Okay. I just like drew them out on the on the board. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, mm -hmm. actually, well, it would have been next turn. I drew a land. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I would have drawn into uh, Noble Knight Tracker. Were my were my three? Oh, hits. so no, no life gain anyway. No, because I well, yeah, and I didn't even have like I, I brought in uh, Knight of Autumns for your for your enchantment. Um, oh, okay. But yeah, I didn't, I don't see those for. That's not going to let me draw more cards. But. Uh, yeah, that one's tough, guys. If you have any other, like, recommendations as to, I don't know. I mean, Ben, what do you think, you know, playing a horrible deck like mine? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, the the important thing for you to remember is to path the the recursive graveyard well, threat, that's, which that's I, all, that's I know you'll do that next time. Um no, Seeing no removal game one definitely hurt you, because if I'm just beating you in the face with two two things in the ice, then it's it's going to be tough for you to come back from that. Yeah. Um, what's the rest of your side? How did you side against me? Okay, so I brought in I brought in two Eidolon of Rhetorics, and unfortunately okay. you had an answer. Um, yeah, which, I mean, that's actually a one-of in my deck, so... Okay, so, that, so that's a fair card to bring in against you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Because, like, I figured if that would have stuck, I had the removal in hand, 
Um, I was going to mm-hmm. be able to actually start just playing things out. I was going to play out like EE on two and things like that. Mm-hmm. So I was going to like keep my EE up for your things and then just be able to remove your birds and stuff. So that was like the idea. Yeah. Um, but anyway, then I brought in uh, two EEs. So uh, mm-hmm. two Eidolons, two EEs, and then I brought in three Night of Autumns. Okay. And that was kind of like what I, I was doing. Do you think Damping Sphere is worth it? Yeah, Damping Sphere is much better against me as opposed to uh, Knight of Autumn, I think. Like, Enhance are three of my cards, you know? I mean, yeah, I guess it can gain you life, but... Well, I just didn't know, like, Knight of Autumn with the that stupid enchantment you guys play now. Aria of Flame? Yeah. But I guess, like, yeah. Damping Sphere really kind of hurts that as well. Yeah, it gives you a lot more time to react to it and plus what, what's the cmc of aria flame three so oh, abrupt, abrupt decay, decay also hits it and so does astrophy or assassin's trophy yeah okay never mind so that was probably wrong so the the night of autumn should have been a damping sphere um how many damping spheres do you have i run three. Oh uh, yeah you, you should have brought in all three of those okay so then i guess siding against you as is would be damping sphere ee and eidolon yeah, I think so. Because the the best way to to deal with Phoenix is to somehow hinder them casting spells or drawing cards. Okay. So that's why, like cards like Narset and yeah, Damping Sphere, um, Eidolon, Eidolon's probably you, it pretty much forces you to like it gives you more time to get an answer to my threats. But um, yeah, Damping Damping Sphere and Eidolon are probably your best bets. Okay, then th- that that's fair. I, I wasn't sure about so, Dan. I don't know why I didn't really think about damping sphere, but yeah, that's probably you're right. Um, and if EE's not like over, I don't think EE's overly important. You know, I need to, I like uh, like I have to put it on two. Mm-hmm. It just it feels kind of slow because like th- that's that's the slot that I think I want to bring in like the plague engineers just like for other matchups. So like if uh, if EE's not going to hurt me. By dropping it, if it's not going to hurt me too bad against you, um, you know, I might just make that change. Yeah, I mean, you have enough removal for other threats that EE hits, like Death Shadow. Um, what else? Probably Burn. Like, you just have enough, like, Paths and Abrupt Decays and Assassin's Trophies and... Well, against burn, like your creatures are bigger and you can gain life. So yeah, and that that helps. It's a little different there, but um, humans. I don't know how your humans match up is, but EE is pretty good there. Yeah, but so but is Pl- Plague, so is Plague Gen- Engineer. Yeah, I was gonna say Plague Engineer also hoses them pretty well. So, so basically, my my board plan against humans is uh, th- why well, I want three Plague Engineers. Like that's gonna be in the side. So it's like bring in a bunch of Plague Engineers and then Blast Zone. Okay. Because Blast Zone's just <laughs> an amazing card. <laughs> yeah. No, I agree. Against them, so and, and, I, and I think that's that's sufficient. Like, they grind hard, but I can kind of do the same thing. Yeah. The removal helps too. Like. Yeah, for sure. A tremendous amount. So, okay, cool. Well, I'm going to stop the, the recording. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, that's going to be a matchup that that uh, Firemind and I continue to uh, to record and talk about because I need to figure out a way to deal with it and not feel like I'm playing the worst deck in modern. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. This is Pun Factor. Thanks, guys.